into the collection room we go dum, 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 to swap some heads with the joker okay <clears throat> had a request to show this uh, to swap some heads around and see how it looks so uh, <laughs> the Heath Ledger head sculpt from the DX11 Hot Toys figure is a little bit big uh, just proportion wise to the Arkham Asylum Mark Hamill Joker but it does look pretty cool um, and there is the Mark Hamill Joker on the DX11 body actually looks pretty sweet so might do some photography with that and um, like I said in my unboxing I really wanted to see what that head sculpt looked like on the tuxedo uh, Jared Leto Joker but unfortunately it escaped my, uh, well, I just forgot at the time that obviously it's a separate head from the neck situation. So um, you can see there the head is actually a separate piece to the neck. So that wouldn't work, unfortunately. You'd have to take off the whole suit, I think, and I don't want to do that. Because that would be big trouble in little China. <laughs> um, but that looks really nice. Put a pause in and we'll take the Jack Nicholson head off and we'll see how... Uh, the Mark Hamill head looks on this, but I don't think that's going to work because the Jack Nicholson figure actually has a bit of a padded fat suit on. Uh, just, you know, to make it accurate to how Jack looked in the film. But let's see how it looks. Let's swap it around. Okay, so that's how that looks. Just as I suspected, the uh, head switch with the Jack Nicholson doesn't really work because of the proportions and body size and stuff like that. Yeah, let's go in. Put that on there. That looks pretty cool. Well, yeah, sort of, not really. Um, any other combinations I can think of? Let's see. Oh, well, there is one guy who has a neck and head situation that we might be able to work with here. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty sweet. Pretty funny. There you go, there's your uh, Deadpool Joker. <laughs> 